Hello and welcome to Mirror Now. I'm Rohit Wellington. Breaking news coming in at the top of this hour. All right, breaking news coming in. There's a high-level discussion in the government over rising inflation and sources say that the government is set to announce relief measures in 48 to 72 hours. The big news is that fuel and food prices are set to be the major items in this relief package. Let's go across to Hina Gambhir joining us for more on this. Hina, what more details can you share with us? Well, top sources in the government tell us that government is conscious of inflation impact on common man. And you're right, uh, the government is all set to announce some relief measures in 48 to 72 hours. That's what we have learned. There's a high-level discussion in government over inflation because in the month of May, the retail inflation data that we have got only suggests that inflation has hit an eight-year high, especially because of rise in food and fuel inflation. Inflation in the wholesale market, in fact, also crossed 15% in the month of April, the last data that we got. This is clearly eating into the savings uh, of the middle class and the people in this country. It's also burning a hole in their monthly budget as well. And government is conscious of the impact this is having on common man. Top sources say that work on announcement on some kind of an inflation control package is going on. So uh, the government is going to come out with some sort of an inflation control package package. It could be in terms of some relief to people so that we do not get impacted by rising fuel and food prices. Because remember, the rise in inflation is largely due to what's happening between Russia and Ukraine, what's happening in the international market. So the external factors are having an impact on our inflation here. And government is set to announce some big relief measures we can confirm for you in 48 to 72 hours. And this is largely going to be in the fuel prices and food prices. That will be the major uh, you know, component of this inflation control package. It could be in some form of tax reduction. That's what we can tell you. But what exactly is going to be for that? We'll have to wait for another 48 to 72 hours. You know, um, let's talk about the fuel and the food inflation. Now, uh, in food items, there's vegetables, atta, edible oil, cooking gas, all these, um, uh, all these commodities have seen a considerable rise. Tell us, how, how much have the prices shot up uh, of these commodities and how is it impacting you and me? Well, be it the atta that you use for making chapatis, the oil that you use to cook your food, to the fuel that you use to you know, drive to office, everything right now is expensive. And, you know, the prices of most of these commodities are at record high right now. So much so that for ATA, government had to put an export ban. Then, of course, some sort of relaxation came in. So in the international market, the prices of basics, the essential goods that we consume, essential products that we import, are at an all-time high. And that is the reason why the retail inflation, the inflation that impacts us directly, uh, in fact, touched 7.79%. And uh, uh, that is something which is a cause of big concern because the edible oil and wheat inflation. Now, this specifically is a pain point here. Wheat prices and edible oil prices have been spiraling, and that is impacting our daily budget as well. Monthly budget is very badly impacted. Already fuel prices were high. Remember, since 6th of April, the oil marketing companies have not revised the prices of petrol and diesel. But the prices of CNG, LPG, so cooking gas prices have been going up continuously. Jet fuel prices have been going up continuously. So even though for us there has been no change in petrol and diesel prices on a daily basis, but the price of other fuel that we consume in terms of our cooking gas, etc., that has been going up, that has been indirectly impacting our monthly budget. So for example, if people were spending, say, around uh, you know, 400 or rupees for one cylinder of LPG in 2014. Now they are spending 1,000 rupees, uh, you know, for one cylinder of LPG. So just imagine how much their monthly budget has got impacted. You know, people were spending around 4.9% of their monthly budget to just buy cooking gas uh, by in March 2022. 
today people are spending 11% of their monthly budget in just buying cooking gas so the expenditure on cooking gas only has almost doubled in the last 2 years uh, salaries have not gone up that much. There have been job cuts as well. But this is the reason why the government is now looking at some sort of an inflation control package because inflation right now is at an all-time high. Uh, Hina, one final question to you before we uh, let you go. Uh, you know, solutions, the relief measures. You have tracked this sector for long and you've been speaking to experts how much elbow room does the government have for relief measures? And in what shape can these relief measures come? Well, as far as fuel is concerned, which is leading this spike in inflation, also impacting the food inflation. So in fuel, the government may want to have a look at the excise duty because that's where it has a direct control. Right now, uh, for example, if you are paying, say, 101 rupees in the national capital for one liter of uh, petrol, then around 32 odd rupees is going to the center. 27 odd rupees is going to the state government, the Delhi government, for one liter of petrol that you buy. So that is one elbow room that government has available right now. Why am I saying it? Uh, that an excise duty cut on petrol diesel can be considered. This is what economists have been demanding because the tax collection in terms of our GST revenue has been going up. So government can have some elbow room to cut the fuel tax for some time. So this is one thing that the government may consider. Now, how much that cut will be remains to be seen. Because remember, recently when Prime Minister Modi spoke about inflation for the first time, he urged the state governments to cut VAT. Remember, some states have already slashed VAT on petrol and diesel. Many states still have not slashed VAT on petrol and diesel. So the prime minister himself talking about, you know, VAT on petrol or diesel and high tax rate on petrol and diesel. So that is one thing I am guessing that the government could consider. If states are not doing, maybe center will once again take the lead and might slash excise duty on petrol and diesel like it did last time when fuel prices were on fire in the month of November. There was a cut of about 5 rupees, 5 rupee excise duty cut and 10 rupee excise duty cut that we had seen on fuel in November. So that's one thing that the government might do. And then like we have this provision of free food grain, uh, it's being given to the poorest of the poor right now. Given the current circumstances, maybe the scope of this scheme could be expanded and maybe more people could be added uh, in this scheme wherein free uh, food could be given at least for some time till, you know, we cross this big problem that we are into right now. All right, we'll wait and see what shape and form these relief measures take, Hina, for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us with those details.